That looks pretty. HK. Survival mode. Oh, shit, let's get right into it. Man, it sounds pretty damn good. Oh, they got the song too. Awesome. They don't fuck around like in Resistance, man. They actually give you a phased plasma rifle right off the bat. Cool. That's one thing I really hated about Resistance is you had to use conventional weapons. Oh, Moto Terminator. You had to use conventional weapons, uh, which have no effect on Terminators at all. And you gotta shoot the living shit out of them. But, uh, that's one thing I thought was kind of weird. It looked like, is that John Connor? Looks like a face guard, dude. I think that's John Connor. Oh, shit. Do you have a name tag? Connor. Oh, fuck, yeah, it is, dude. He's dead. Damn, Connor. Terminator succeeded. I guess that's, uh, 2031, so it will be... After the events of the movies where he sent everybody back. Yeah, this game looks awesome. I love that, uh, like, scrapes and dirt and shit on the camera lens. It's pretty cool. There's no HUD except for that weapon over overpower control. Oh, shit. Fire, fire, fire. Destroy Moto Terminator. Yep, that, that's the plan. Me. Oh, man. That was cool. Just disappeared, though. Oh, cutscene. This is really well done for a fucking fan game, dude. Explore factory, watch out for T600s in the T600s? T6? I mean, that shouldn't be. They shouldn't be around. It would be like T-800 should be like Raymond Brain Supreme right now. Those are the ones with the rubber skin, if I'm remembering right. Oh, I hear some, some machine whirling. Where are you, you rubber bastard? I got the song from the... Damn, that is so cool. Like, the fan in me right now is just, like, geeking out. This is what I wanted in Resistance. I heard off the bat. This is what I wanted. And I had to, like, play through a whole shitload of expository bullshit just to get to the point where I could be a re real Resistance person. And I love the fact that they kind of leave you nameless. You know, you just wake up next to, to Connor's corpse and you gotta go continue on fighting. You know, the... I think the guy's name was Brady or something like that in Resistance. Hey, buddy. Headshot. 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 You need to turn around. That's why your asses were replaced. Because you suck. It takes a lot of shots, though. I'll give them that. No, space bars usually jump, and I don't have a jump button, so that's kind of nice in a way because it means I have to do uh, certain things to get around the environment. Like I can't jump over anything, so it kind of plays with the idea that you know you there's only one path through, and I just fucked up right there by falling through. I wasn't supposed to go that way. Kind of gives you that. Um, mouse in a maze kind of feel. Yeah, this this is way already, to me, better than Resistance. And I'm not shitting on that game. I thought it was cool. And yeah, they had soundtracks and, and uh, game or uh, movie noises and, and effects and shit for guns. But it's just like, sometimes these fans, man, they, they do almost did the exact same thing. They, uh, they just do, like, a, a better job sometimes. 
Because it's like, you know, fans are... I'm not saying that the developers aren't fans or anything like that. But sometimes that passion just, you know... Makes really awesome content. Oh shit, there's another one. Hey, buddy. I don't know why the hell they're not moving. It is a fan game, so... You know, don't don't be shitting on them in the comments, because... You know, oh shit, he's attacking me. Round and round. Round and round. Oh, I thought I was going to fucking die on that one. I thought I was going to be terminated. That's so cool looking, he has like flesh ripped off and shit. Still, his gun still spinning. Ah, it's so fucking cool. I'm like geeking out over here. That sucks though, man. It's like, uh, that seems to be a trend. Either they, they kill off John Connor or they make him a bad guy. Uh, there's no upper floor. Shoot down his mouth, please. So that goes up to nothing. I'm assuming I go down here? Yep. Just a floating gun compared to my shadow, I guess. Oh no, T-800. Oh no. Oh fuck. This is, this is gonna be bad. What the hell he's shooting at? Oh, oh, now he's coming after me. Oh, come on, chase me. Headshot, 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 headshot. Hey man, you let me hit you for free, I'm gonna do it. Okay, I take it back. These uh, plasma rifles are not that great. I don't think it's expecting me to go up the steps. Just disappeared. It's a pretty cool trick, man. Yeah, they're a lot tougher. Okay, I thought the T-600s were going to be tougher, but I was wrong. Yeah, the T-800s are uh, pretty damn frightening. But yeah, their their paths and the, the tracking and shit of the AI is not, uh, not that great. Oh, fuck. Run away to the rooftops. Okay, try to escape the T-800. Will do, man. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, mm, this way. Why is he not shooting at me? Does he even have a weapon? Right. Love the soundtrack in this, man. Wish I had some crosshairs. Somebody's shooting at me. Oh no. Light him up! Light him up! Yeah, get fucked. Oh shit. Just standing there watching, dude. It's like, do something. There's another one. Oh no. You're choking me. I guess I didn't escape. Future is not written. Our destiny is what we make for ourselves. 
Is that the end? Stefano, man, you got man, you did an awesome job. Damn, and the game just goes to the desktop. Yeah, that was fucking phenomenal. And every time I try and launch the game, uh, Oculus pops up, so I'm, I'm pretty sure this probably has VR support. But damn, dude. Bravo. That was freaking phenomenal. If you guys are at all interested in playing this for yourself, I'm going to put a link down in the description below. The game is absolutely free. It is a fan-made project, so that's why it's a little bit buggy. Uh, you seen there that the AI just sometimes didn't want to follow me and didn't track me right and and it's somewhat realistic because I mean in that fog with that red vision they wouldn't really be able to see me very well anyway uh, but it, it's just it's a fan game there's no uh, there's nothing but love behind this you know there's nobody no big studios funding it this guy probably made it by himself with a couple friends or even probably by himself completely uh, but yeah definitely uh, download this for this uh, man it's that just leaves me come almost speechless I like to support the indie developers so I I, I at least do the little minimum buy-in uh, with these games I'm very happy I did on this one and I want to try and email this guy to see if he has uh, any plans on updating it or if maybe you know the rights holders the terminators got to him and said you know you can't develop anymore because they were using you know real movie sounds real movie soundtracks so, I mean, there's kind of a copyright issue there. But, uh, yeah, this guy definitely, definitely needs to get some love. Uh, but anyway, that's all I have for you guys in this video. Uh, I do new uploads every weekend. At least, I try to do at least two. Um, but if you guys are interested in content like this and finding out some of these little nifty indie games like here and there, I do modern games, I do uh, classic retro games, and I do indie games. To highlight creators just like this uh, if you're at all interested in that hit that subscribe button but anyway you can have a good day have a good night depending on when you're watching this and we'll see you in the next one bye